understand. They said they've been awakened since what the sixties. You got this these these these, these schools, man, out here telling you they got a hundred percent of the truth and they don't even know Christ. And this is the problem. We all was waking up to the same doctrine. That's right. The doctrine right. of death. That's right. That's right. right. And and when you're trying to reprove, and you know, and I'm just I'm going in today. You got these cats from GMS make videos, and I'm seeing them on a video talking about rape. Bring it out. How you gonna force your sister, man? Bring it out. How we gonna be spiritual men, leaders of the peoples? And we can go out and smash our own brother's, our own brother's daughter. Bring it out. Bring it that don't out. sound like a man of God. Bring it out. And then they back this doctrine, man. Then they go crazy. You got them out here, man. Wolf and sheep clothing. That's right. They really wolf and raggedy clothing out there, man. Bring it out. A lot of these cats, they don't even wear their fringes. They, they just Israelites on the weekend. Bring it out. And in, in, in the camps, they get away with murder, man. That's right. right. These elders, they get away with murder. They got blood on their hands. That's right. But the idiots, and I don't mean to call them that, but that's what they, they'll defend it to with their life. They would defend these things with their life. That's right. And we're going to go into it today. But read, why is it that they the only, these, these, these schools and camps and these churches, man, got all kind of madness going on and none of them got no truth. You got some of them out here, these GMS dude, they got 100% of the truth. Bring it out. Bring it out. They got 100% of badness, man. That's right. This is what's wrong with these brothers. They proud, man, puffed up around here. You think I don't get phone calls, man, about what goes on emails? Bring it out. How these guys smashing our sisters out there having wives and stuff, man. Bring it out. You thinking I'm not getting this information? Bring it out. You thinking I'm not getting this information? Bring it out. You thinking I'm not getting this information? You thinking they not they not contacting us, telling us what's going on? All they doing in this nation right now, man. That's right. We haven't built nothing for the peoples, man. That's right. Why yeah. haven't we built one building for the peoples? Bring it out. Why can we have one building that we can all go and have our Passover in, man? Bring Why can we pool money together and have this building for the nation? Birds, that's a cursed image, man. That's right. Birds, that's a cursed image, man. That's right. See, those are your images that y'all love, man. And I don't know how you put an image up like that. You got it? There it is. See, this is where we came in and the truth in right here, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. The image of the beast. See, this is where we came in and the truth in right here, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. The image of the beast. What? But that which is made with hands. That which is made with hands. Read. It's cursed. That's cursed. Read. As well it. As well as the person that made it. Read it. As he that made read on he because he made read on and it because being corrupt that's corruptible read it was called God that's what they give us us man this is why I say our peoples are being fed spiritual fornication that's right corruptible read it was called God that's what they give us us man this is why I say our peoples are being fed spiritual fornication that's right take that garbage down man well I'm out man I think it's tripping. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, fellow followers of the faith and believers of this truth, and Shalom to the elect. So, anyway, uh, this uh, Jake here, um, who's school name is one body in Yahawashah but everything he speaks of is totally against the teachings and the actions of Yahawashah he doesn't believe Yahawashah uh, worked any miracles he doesn't believe we should identify with the image of Yahawashah he actually calls Yahawashah the beast he calls his image the beast so most high is now stirring up things and making it evident that these camps these other groups are really haters of Yahawasha right that's what it's coming down to some don't want to call on the name some says the writings of the book is false some says Yahawasha didn't work miracles now this guy is saying that the Yahawasha's image is of the beast that's what he's teaching. Now, when this white Jesus was being pushed on us, 
we would never see Jake come up and say anything like that, right? This is casting down those imaginations as Paul was speaking of in the scriptures, these strongholds of the white Jesus. Now, obviously, if you have a son or daughter, mother, parent, whoever, a loved one, and you went to a to their funeral, and they had a picture of a Moabite type person up there, or a white person, and you were so-called black, but it had their name on there, you would have a, an issue with it. And secondly, in that time, Yahweh was here. So we didn't need no extra images or whatever, but for the lost sheep, even today, we were following different gods. So we need to identify with the one that we follow, right? John the Revelator gave a description of what Yahweh looked like. So, and uh, through the angel, gave a description of what Yahweh looked like. So, is John the Revelator a worship of the beast? Revelation 1 and 14. I'm not going to go there, but I just wanted to say that. He said that this is a doctrine of death. We're going to get back to the image. I'm just kind of scrolling through the things he said. He said we are rapists and we're teach to go rape people. I don't know who started this or bearing this false witness against us. Uh, all these groups that get confounded, that's the first thing they say. And then all of them sit there and agree. Which means they're the ones just as guilty. There has not been one report of us as an Israelite going smashing and raping young women or anybody. And if that was the case, if this guy, this agent who says he gets phone calls try to set us up, we know we don't have no affiliation with that kind of behavior in this society to go around just raping women. Who don't understand the laws of the scriptures or understand what the Bible is all about under another form of authority, not even a mindset of being actually woman. The majority of the women aren't really playing a role of what they're supposed to play anyway. But anyway, let's go start going to the scriptures. He he this man also says, Why can't we just all get to get along? So now I'm gonna just roll through the scriptures and pull all this out and you know make a lot of corrections on this madman this man is like this man should be holding an axe he's like a butcher of the scriptures he's this has got to be the worst of the worst israelite group man i've never seen anybody this guy says these people that run the world aren't even running the world anymore so this is the worst of the worst john 16 and 13 he also says he also says, as we were saying, as I said earlier, that this was a doctrine of the devil. This is what he said. And this is what those men would have said when Yahweh came on the scene. And he had to say, I didn't come to destroy the law and the prophets. I come to fulfill. Anyway, how be it, John 16 and 13, how be it when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall speak of himself, he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. Right? So, when you're dealing with the spirit of truth, you will be guided into truth in motion. To say something like that, because the, 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 uh, the truth has evolved, to say something like that, even in this man's system, who they claim started basketball, let me say that, James Neesmith or whatever, as basketball evolved to what it is today, you don't go back and condemn what was started to evolve with what it is today. Right? This is, this is a wicked, this is a wicked group. Now, the most high handed us the, uh, the truth, right? We got the truth and we're still marinating in this truth the most high loves flavor we're not going to just stay stagnant it's going to grow but somehow this god doctrine he teaches that he has the true doctrine and is now grown so this guy believes he's the 
the God of the Israelites. <laughs> he don't like Yahawashi. He hates GM. He dislikes GMS. Let me say that. Anyway, let's go to Matthew thirteen and nine. Uh, who have ears, let them let them hear. Right? It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and saith unto them, Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. So, what is this saying? You have multitudes of Israelites that are going to wake up and is meant to wake up, but they were never meant to conform and come under one building and one roof together. After all, if that happened, then there would be no need for Hebrews 8, Jeremiah 31, when all Israel be saved and we all shouldn't have to teach his neighbor and we all be one, we all be linked together. Remember, to have an elect, you must have a non-elect. And everybody that's the non-elect is not somebody just of strictly of the world. The non-elect will know that they're Israelites. Let's get this one, Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, but the rest was blinded. This is period. Did you not read the Bible? These guys are low level, man. They are low level. But what they've managed to do, they've managed to use prosperity to fool to fool and deceive the hearts of the simple. The love and everybody get under one building. Fopi does that. All these groups, IUIC, Sakari, they all do it. They all do it. We all love. Why can't we just love one another? You know, it's about unity and this and that. They don't care about unity, man. It ain't about love. It's about bringing up GMS, a great millstone name, to heap yourself some fame and get you a little more attention by dis dis discrediting us, calling us rapists. Uh, because we say we have the hundred percent truth and confidence of the of the scriptures, the knowledge of the Bible. What are you holding the Bible for, man? This is why you guys get in these de debates and you get confounded, or those Christians start chewing you up, man. Anyway, um, let's go to Exodus. Exodus eleven twenty eight. I'm going back on the, the, uh, the his, his ideology about the um, Yah having an image of Yahusha. Why did they have the image of those uh, the twelve tribes chart? Where did that come from? So we can see now that he has an issue with one West. He has an issue with what he learned and what he's slowly going to do. Just like those guys, a spiritual lesson. Those guys, so-called spiritual lesson. Those guys are slowly going to drop it, just like Chicago, just like everybody else who came into the truth. They slowly just putting it off, putting it off, and putting it off. And then when that name of the Lord is gone, they got nothing else. Right? Goes on to say, And they shall make the ephod of gold blue and a purple of scarlet, and, and fine twined linen with cunning work. It shall have the two shoulder pieces Therefore joined at the two edges, therefore, and so shall be joined together. You guys, it's all about the law, man. Hey, what you doing? Um, and the curious girdle, uh, the curious girdle of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be um, of the same according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet, and fine twine linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, and grave on them the names of the children of Israel. So there's nothing wrong with engraving. There's nothing wrong with images. It is something wrong because when it goes to the worship of idols and other gods, that's where the problem comes. It's just as bad even if you don't engrave and you get on your knees and pray to another god. It's just as bad. Then you, don't you read in Nahum 1, the Lord said he's a jealous power? Like he's really going to be mad because we brought back and cast down a stronghold of the image of what his son really looked like. That's why it's there. If it wasn't there, we wouldn't say anything about it. In the book of Daniels, we wouldn't say anything about it. You're, you're creating an image in your head. 
And this is those other, uh, these black only Israelites too. Say we're not supposed to have the image of Yahweh Shah, but they probably got pictures of their grandma, you know, their uncles and cousins, rappers, all in their house, man. You can't help but to make a graven image. When you sign your name, you get a uh, credit card, you got to sign. When you uh, pick up a package from UPS, you can't help but to make a graven image. But the key is, are you doing it for the Lord or are you doing it for Baal? It says, verse 11, with the work, uh, it says, with the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravers of a uh, signed, uh, shalt thou engrave the two stones, right? with the names of the children of Israel. And this is what we see on the board with the 12 tribes of the Israelites. This also proves that there's nothing wrong with the 12 tribe sign. It's right here in the scriptures. Thou shalt make them to be set in ouches of gold. And we go up in there, uh, the engravings of a signed, like a seal, like we use uh, a signature. Uh, or a signing of your nature signature they just put it together signing of your nature okay the children of Israel that shall make them to be set in ouches of gold okay um, that's pretty much it on that you can keep reading if you want the key is there was nothing wrong with making the image of Yahweh and saying and calling it Yahweh Yahweh and Yahweh you see the, the, the son you see the father right there's nothing wrong with re-identifying and casting out the lie and bring back the image to our people. Because after all, once we start following white Jesus and um, we start believing in that, what do we start believing in ourselves, right? We don't, we don't have the faith. This brings faith to know that we were lied to and cast down these imaginations and these lies. Maccabees, the third chapter, says they painted the likeness of their images which means we must have had already images and our images there was nothing wrong with that but these guys they want to be deep they really hate Yahweh and that's the point anyway that's all I have on that Shalom